as promised, we are back in Turin, Georgia at the Page House. This time, in part two, let's delve deep into the history of this 200-year-old property. We will visit historic Tranquil Cemetery, where the tombstones tell the tale. and passed away. With its rich 200 year old history, you can imagine the souls who lived and died at the Page House. Let's learn more. Let's go in and check it out. Give it a Ooh, little scary knock. Oh man, wow. Wow. Love the stairwell. Look at this staircase. So beautiful. We're going to dig deep into the history of the house. I'm Judy Beatty. Hey, Miss Judy. Of the Page House. Thanks for letting us in. And now you purchased it when the house was, it was on the market and there was a builder interested, correct? A developer? The, the developer owned it. He owned it. Mm -hmm. And we bought it from him. Bought it from Able to, to get, get the house. Get the and house. then the town of Turin have, have really been... Uh, supportive of us. And, Good. And well, they don't want thankful. it to go, right? No, no. Uh, and a, a lot of their citizens have dropped off their antiques. And oh, neat. Their oh, crystal yeah. and their, this um, is so cool under here. China. And um, we just, uh, the, they've been really, really thankful. Some of the descendants of the, the pages are glad to have it back. Yeah. And they still live in the town. That's I'll take you to okay, so um, we're, the oldest We part think of we're house. going to the oldest part. <laughs> This is very pretty. Thank you. Very pretty. Oh, um, we're going up steps. <laughs> and the YouTube channel is Histories and Mysteries, so people love the old well, houses. And Look at that beautiful chandelier. That was donated. That was donated, um, okay. So, but this is, we this think, is cool. this is the oldest part of the house, and we think it was like a Pioneer Cottage or something because so it's been lifted or no um, okay so what um, we think and I'll take you down to the kitchen as oh um, I'm start. so oh, this opening here okay I is gotcha. on the ceiling of it would have not been the kitchen then but the room there below used to be a laundry room I, I, you know I'm not sure what uh, who knows yes. if walls could talk oh um, yeah for real if these walls but, could really talk but I love I wanted y'all to see I loved that they did not yes. paint. Leave this the natural. Yep. Yeah. And I like how they're the wider. Uh, Just my gorgeous. I think like 1804 or something, but we're not, there's no. Record. Well, because it'd be interesting because in this area, this, the, the land was given out in the land lottery of 1820. Mm -hmm. So anything before 1820 were sort of rambler, ran, random settlers, mostly from okay. South Carolina. I Richard Laville's wife, Martha Herbert Laville, had two sons when they married, Frederick and George. George went off to medical school and he and his wife lived here at the Page House their entire adult life. Oh, well, this is lovely. This is, I call it the, the white room, but uh, we've had a couple brides get ready here because we've had a couple oh, okay. small Okay, like, okay, small okay. we got the full mirror. Yeah. But we want the history of the house. We want to be able to, you know, show people what a great place this is to stay. 
You don't have to stay at the hotels all the time. No. You can have more of an experience. Yeah, and we're on five acres, so it is super private. Super private, look at that. They, they're they almost on the creepy end, a little bit. I know, uh, so <laughs> that was given to Oh, it, know, but yeah. she broke the plant. Uh-oh. -huh. Uh -oh. Who are we gonna blame, right? The Page family history reveals a little girl named Carolina Page passed away at the house at the age of six. Stay tuned as we search for her final resting place at the Tranquil Cemetery. That's funny. Very cool. And, so, and, and uh, like I said, a ton of this I love was given vanity. to us. A ton of the antiques were just given to us by citizens. Just because they want just to they preserve. Yeah. Dr. Page was a Freemason, very important as we begin to tell a very famous story of the doctor during the Civil War. What a lovely spot to come have a glass of wine in the evening or a cup of coffee in the morning. The barn is believed to be as old as the original section of the house. If you come to the Airbnb right now, this is where you would stay. This is the room. Yeah. Okay. The original builder, Richard Luvio, left this beautiful house to his stepson, George Page. You can stay in this historic home yourself. Leave a comment if we can help you book your trip to Turin, Georgia. So this would be the room if you wanted to rent a room at this beautiful Airbnb. Of course, there's chandelier. She can't let a room go by without no. a chandelier. No, no. Look at this. Is, I find these kind of things interesting in the building materials. Look what I found. Little kitty paw prints. <gasps> oh, and one of the descendants of the Waltons had talked to me on the phone. She called, she was thanking them. us for um, saving the house. And she said, my grandmother always had kittens. And I said, oh, okay. So okay. about a month later, I pulled up this linoleum and found these little kitty paw prints. That is so cool. And here's some more. And she said, you're not covering them up. And I said, no. So I'm gonna, I figured out how to keep it was to paint the concrete. The little paw prints in stone reveal a story. Let's head to the cemetery where the tombstones tell another story. That's neat. Another really yes. cool antique. You can't locate a graveyard here at this church. But luckily, the minister was sitting outside on a picnic table under a shade tree, and he directed us to the cemetery. Let's take you there now. At near Tranquil. We're out near which Tranquil. Is a blip on the map that you need to pull out your phone, and I'll have to, I'll have to, to pick it out. Tranquil Cemetery Road. Here we go, guys. Not a very traveled road. If it wasn't for this nice Pastor Johnny, 
at the Turin Methodist Church, I doubt we'd have found this. Hey everybody, we are out here at Tranquil Cemetery. It used to be, there used to be a church here, Tranquil Methodist Church, and then it changed to Turin, and the congregation moved to the church that we were just at that I showed you the video of. We are out here looking for members of the family that would have stayed at the Page House. So I'm gonna call out some names and Mark and I are gonna see if we can find. We are looking for a care, the Pages mostly, a Carol, Georgia Carolina Page who would have been six years old when she passed away. We believe she's here. We are looking for two soldiers graves who we believe were here, are here resting. Oh, here's a page, Jimmy Page Shell and J.B. Shell Jr. Jimmy Page was the daughter of Dr. Page. Her husband, J.B. Shell Sr., operated the cotton warehouse in Turin. So there is a page, her maiden name, so we're getting a little close. We have found a page. We are trying to find the page and I see page and Mobley. That was all in our research. So let me head that way. I'm kind of wishing I hadn't worn sandals out here. Reverend Johnny said that they do come out. Some of his parishioners have descendants here and they do come out here once a year and clean the cemetery. This is a very fascinating spot to me. Uh, we've got a Masonic sign there. We have a military stone, Sergeant N.Y. Hunter. We are looking specifically for Dr. George Page. Here are some pages. Let's see what we can find. Banks. Lenora S. Page. Tallulah Page. Okay, we saw Tallulah listed on some of our history. So I think we have found our spot. Here is Martha O. Page wife of John T. Mackey. So some of the folks right in here would have lived, possibly born and even died at the Page House. Alvin, son of J. Mack and Catherine Caldwell. Here's a stone placed randomly. Oh, actually, they might have broken off, I'm not sure. Emily Page Honeycutt. N-I-N-Q-Y Gay Wife uh, Oh, okay, we, we saw this one listed in the history as well. Wife of G.H. Page, July 25th, 1819 to May 25th, 1905. She is not dead, but sleepeth. Sleeps with the Lord. The quaint town of Gay, Georgia is just a short 20-minute drive from Turin. She had 11 children with her husband, Dr. George Page. Seven of them survived to adulthood. They had 30 grandchildren and 35 great-grandchildren. She was a member of the Methodist Church for over 50 years. She was very well respected here in Turin, Georgia. Let's see if we can see some names. Hello to the Page family. Ooh, I just got a, ooh, I got a real funny feeling just now. I just, aha, Ayula, we found her. Ayula came on these tracks, it was hit by a freight train, and passed away. 
Ayula Page, April 22nd, 1851 to January 25th, 1921. Ayula Tally Page. Ayula was walking the tracks and she had become old and feeble and was hard of hearing and she was hit by a train. That's funny because just right here, when I was walking up, I just got like a funny feeling. I just got goosebumps all over me. And here is Ayula, who is one of the folks listed that I was specifically looking for. Ayula Page. And she was struck and killed by a freight train. God bless you, Miss Ayula. Thank you for letting me visit you. Thomas E. Shell. Nancy Watton Page, wife of Thomas Shell. Here is a Robert Page Shell. Our research discovered a hand-typed letter to the family acknowledging this young man's death at the age of 21. The stone says, asleep. This one says, come ye blessed. Here's a really large plot. Let's see, I don't mean any disrespect, but I do have to be careful where I'm walking. Summer, Emma McKnight Summer. Okay, so the McKnights have a lot to do with Sonoy. We've talked about that numerous times. The connection of the McKnights in Sonoy. Oh my, here are two little, two little angels, two little children. God bless them. May they rest quietly the with the Lord. Tranquil Cemetery was so fascinating to us that it gave us the idea for a tour that we are offering called Tales from the Tombstones. Tranquil Cemetery is an inspiring cemetery indeed. Now, let's try to get a little specific. I've got 31% juice on my camera guys so let's get over here and see if we can find we're looking for the two soldiers but I can't guarantee that they're here I did want to show you look at these incredibly these must be some of the oldest ones here just some letters scratched Let's check real close to that on these stones and this is the summers family uh, the two soldiers we are looking for they are two stones together don't know if that's here not here we'll do some more looking so maybe want some of the parishioners at the Methodist Church would come out here with us and help us tell the stories and here look at how old these are scratched in stones WES I can't see these are incredible this is a very cool little now it's a cemetery but if there was a church here somewhere, I don't know where, it's mostly woods, but there was at one point a church here, and it is gone, 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 long gone. Okay, two wives of William Wright, Lucy Tucker and Mary Tucker. Buried in the old Tranquil Cemetery, Newberry County, South Carolina. Interesting. So most of the settlers that are here in this cemetery plot behind me, their descendants came from Newberry, South Carolina. They came here to um, uh, 
take over, basically. They came here to um, take over the Indian land. When the Indian lands were given up in the, uh, the Treaty of Indian Springs, which we've talked about numerous times, and they came here and they uh, plotted out different plots of land for people to come and live here in this area, which is now Coweta County, Georgia. It's another really old stone. Some little mini obelisks here. John Louis Shell. Smaller stones there. There is a, ooh, interesting. There are stones way in the woods here. This one has been cemented back together. And I cannot read, it looks like John. I cannot read that one. Let's get a good close up and see whether sometimes we go back and we edit and we can see this. I did not bring any chalk or anything with me. Died in 1880. This one, ooh, getting into a vine way here in the forest. This one has been cemented together again. Uh, just as the minister told us that once a year they do come out and tend to this and oh, I don't want to get these spider webs. There are some way back here in the woods, Mark. Look at these. Well, I mean, into the woods more. I found Ayula, but I haven't found anyone else that was on my notes. Oh, you think you found them? Okay, let's go look. These are off into the woods, so those must be the older ones. Oh, all right, hold on. Let me look at my notes. Oh, I think this is it. Yes, yes, this is it. I believe this is it. Is it 1863? Is that right there? Yeah, both of them. October of 1863. All right, so this is the plot for the story that I was telling you about. These two men, they uh, happened up into Turin and happened up to Dr. Page's home, the Page House, and they were in very bad shape. There was a legend that they came from Andersonville, but the timing's not right. One of our earliest videos was at Andersonville. Go back a few years on our playlist and check that one out. Uh, it, he took a big risk taking care of them. He tried to nurse them back to health. He fed them. Unfortunately, they both passed away. And they both passed away, look, a day from each other in October of 1863. Now, these original stones replaced by the ladies of the church that we just left. And they placed the stones, the ladies said, because these were someone's son, even though they were Confederate soldiers and we're deep in the South. They placed the stones here saying that they wanted, um, because they were someone's sons and they wanted their places marked in case their mothers ever came to look for their final resting spot. Well, then these stones obviously are quite old. Oh, and look at this page right here. Dr. G. H. Page. There it is, Dr. George Page. He took care of them and he placed these stones here. Well, what happened was later on, the federal government was going to give them these military markers, uh, but the markers were sent um, accidentally to Grantville. These two stones were lost in storage for 20 years. 
And now they do mark these two soldiers' graves. They were Union soldiers. And after the war, Dr. Page wanted to become a citizen of the United States of America. Well, you had to ask the government for a pardon. And in the pardon, there is a letter that he hand wrote saying that he would not turn anyone away, uh, rich, poor, black, white, uh, Union or Confederate, he was gonna take care of you. And he did his best here with these two Union soldiers. Incredible find associated with the Page House. Just absolutely incredible. What? Way back there? All right, let's see what Mark's found back in here. And this either is a, is a grave I just happened up on or a path. See these stones here? I'm either, I'm either just found myself standing right in the middle of the grave. Yep. I think I did accidentally, I apologize. Or it's a path, the old path, because look, it goes this way. Yeah, There's a pile of stones there. Right back here, a headstone right there. Let's go see this one headstone in the woods. What an incredible find. What an exciting exploration. Here's some stones here too. Oh my. That one's cracked off back there. And then you have this one that's toppled over, just crumbled and gone. Oh my gosh all in here no disrespect folks we're just trying to remember your lives the lives that you lived here in what would have been considered Turin and they go pretty far back there's one over there look there's way over here yes, yes. amazing there's a fairly new one right there. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Can you get back to that one? Can I get back to it? Yeah, I can. Here, I take the camera. Right there. I should have worn sneakers. I didn't know I was going to be in the woods. Barns. They kind of got this area laid out with tr down trees. There's some more there, right here. Be careful. Your phone, your camera's hot. Yeah. Uh, look, there's a little more of a path right here or something, huh? What? On the ground, right there, your stone's on the ground. Show a picture of That's for circling. Oh. Interesting. Wow. What's the name on that one, Dell? Barnes. living down there yep. so you can see in the distance the regular cleared out oh there's another tree someone's probably living in yep. but there's a lot of creature activity out here so here is the cleared out part of the old cemetery but we, moving in there, uh, right now yep, like I'm getting out of the woods now thank you What are you going to try to stir it up? Hey, that way over there in the distance, that's some sort of metal 
Yeah, it was right there. over past it. See those flowers back there? Yeah. There's two graves back there. Mm. Those are not old. Let me clear the path put them back there. See, that's the head of the field zone. Yep. And then this little old path. That's an old And we're back out here into the more cleared hot. area. What? Yep, it's hot. We're fixing to get out of here, guys. Well, we found Ayula and we found the soldiers. I did not find Dr. Page, which is interesting because you'd think it would be a big one. Wiley. Let's check this big, some of these big stones to see if there's any chance we can find Dr. Page real quick. We are quickly running out of battery power, everyone. So if we run out of battery power, I apologize. We're gonna quickly try to find Dr. George Page. Is that it? No, I'm just saying that's what we're looking for. Nope, 32 years old, a hunter. The pages were over there, and I didn't find the doctor. This is quite a mix of old and new stones for sure. McCullum, McCullough. Oh, here, here, Lavelle. Born in South Carolina, died in 1879, was a member of the Baptist Church for more than 50 years and a deacon, Charles Lavelle. We found a lot of them. We found the Lavelle family. Don't know about the doctor. That would have been a super old stone, so I don't know if it's just poorly marked. Maybe he's here somewhere. If you're here, Dr. Page. He may be buried somewhere else, but I... Oftentimes, when we go to these graveyards and cemeteries, we have to come back and take our time and look over the footage. Here is a case in point. That is Dr. George Page's stone right behind me. I didn't put two and two in together until later when I realized, remember, we zoomed in on the other side for Nancy Gay Page, his wife. Clearly, he is marked on the other side of that stone. Hey, come with me on a Tales from the Tombstone tour and we'll find it again. But I can't find his stone anywhere. There's the Page family here. Family records show that Dr. George Page was a very Christian man. He would care for anyone who needed his help. He did, however, have a tragic death. He tumbled down this flight of steps at the Page House, breaking his neck when he hand landed in the foyer. He died shortly after from the injuries. So he certainly could be in this area. Um, sometimes you find the stones and sometimes you don't. That's just what happens. I'm pretty excited that we found the ones that we found. Um, we found a lot of the ones that we were looking for. We can't find young Georgia Carolina, the six-year-old child who lived and likely passed away at the Page House. As always, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Histories and Mysteries with me, Sally Tool and Mark. And hey, if you'd like to see some of these locations in person, reach out and leave a comment and our new tour company georgia location scout will be glad to tour you around thanks again <laughs>